Hi there, and thank you for joining me today. I am Dr. Stacy Cooper, health and wellness expert at drstacycooper.com, and this is the Ask Dr. Stacy program. So I host this free program live weekdays at 12.15 Eastern, 9.15 a.m. Pacific, and you can always find all of our previous episodes on my Lifestyle Balance Solutions page on Facebook. You can also check out my YouTube video and my YouTube channel, you can subscribe there. Just search for Dr. Stacy Cooper. So all of our previous episodes are there. So today is my dress down day. I'm not in the office today, although I'm physically in the office. Um, I was here for a massage. Now, how often do you take time for yourself to pamper yourself and self care? This is some of the things we've been talking about in our previous episodes this week, that care is so we talked about nourishing you and nurturing you and we talked about mindful morning routines and helping to implement some steps there where you can start to nourish yourself recharge your batteries so that you will then have more to give when we are always supporting others and not supporting ourselves then this is when we become run down worn out frustrated and depleted and living a life that we don't love because we're exhausted and we're not looking after ourselves so do start to implement some of those self-care tips that I shared with you yesterday and as I said you can see them on my Lifestyle Balance Solutions Facebook page or just go to my YouTube channel Dr. Stacy Cooper and you can subscribe there as well. So today our topic is healthy legumes and we're going to be talking about cannella, cannella, sorry, cannellini beans. So it's not cannelloni but cannellini beans. Now we have talked about healthy grains and swapping out um, gluten out of your diet and how to incorporate grains that are gluten free and the importance of this. And again, those sessions are found on my Lifestyle Balance Solutions page and they, you can search them all just by title. So we've talked about quinoa, buckwheat flour, chickpea different grains that you can use and so today we are progressing through legumes and swapping out and including some of these for fueling your body better because when you provide whole foods healthy foods that don't spike blood sugar levels help to decrease the diabetic connection and fuel your engine better so it can run more effectively and efficiently then your outcomes will be improved and your body adapts to whatever environment you provide for it whether it be positive or negative so if you begin to provide positive nourishing foods thoughts actions exercise meditation then your body will begin to function differently your energy will be different and those around you will notice changes so it's for your body and it will do the best that it can with what you're providing but there's a finite limit as to how much adaptation your body can do and this is when signs and symptoms begin to show up so I do encourage you to start to incorporate some positive healthy choices into your daily life so cannellini beans their firm textured cannellinis are extremely rich in soluble fiber. This is really important. And this can help calm a sensitive digestive tract. So to um, aid in digestive issues, cannellini beans are great for you to incorporate. A common problem for anyone with celiac disease. So these are a great bean to incorporate, especially if you're noticing those kinds of troubles. An average one-third cup or two and a quarter ounce serving or of cannellini beans will give you more than half of your recommended daily intake, RDA, recommended daily intake, for total fiber, including a rich amount of solid fiber which can help calm the system because it forms a gel in the digestive tract. This gel binds with cholesterol and helps remove it from our bodies. This is strongly important for aiding your body and better body function. So cannellinas are also an, an excellent food for anyone with high cholesterol levels. Now the folate content in cannellini beans helps to bring down levels of homocysteine in the blood, high amounts of which are harmful to the arteries. So these beans help to provide a protective effect for your arteries as well. 
Well, the magnesium and potassium in the cannellini beans help lower blood pressure. Another great benefit for ingesting these beans and including them in your diet. Good levels of iron help boost energy levels and lower the risk of anemia. Now we've talked about iron on some of our previous episodes and as I said, you can see all of the previous episodes on my Lifestyle Balance Solutions Facebook page or also on my YouTube channel. Just search out Dr. Stacy Cooper. And iron is really important because iron is necessary to carry the oxygen of in, in the red blood cell to get it to every single cell in your body. And oxygen is necessary for energy production at the cellular level. So if your iron stores are depleted and your blood has a low iron content, then your body won't carry the oxygen to the cells for energy production and you feel tired and fatigued. So many things are necessary to be in place for energy production in your body, and iron is just one of them. So cannellini beans are extremely rich in fiber and soluble fiber for a healthy digestive system and protection for the heart and arteries. These are some of the benefits of the cannellini beans. The high folate content helps remove homocysteine from the blood. So this is the protective arterial effect of cannellini beans. And it can also help reduce high blood pressure. And it's a good source of iron. So practical tips for cannellini beans. You want to soak dried beans overnight, then boil for 10 minutes in fresh water and simmer for one and a half to two hours until tender. So they do take some cooking time, so you can prepare for that. You can try them in soups or in a three bean salad or add them to a lamb casserole. They marry well with lemon juice, tomatoes and garlic and are used in many, many classic Italian dishes. Did you know cannelli beans are one of Italy's favorite legumes, particularly in Tuscany? The Tuscan white bean and vegetable soup is famous around the world. So this is where you can find cannellini beans. So you can find them in a dried form, and then you would soak them overnight, boil them for 10 minutes, rinse the water, and then simmer for up to two hours. You may also be able to find them in canned forms, and they are similar to white kidney beans. So I encourage you, as the summer season approaches, and we're selling right in Canada Day, and you can see that from my shirt, Made in Canada. And so I wish you a very happy holiday weekend. But I also want to share with you that I have a free um, webinar coming up that's going to be showing you how to eliminate your cravings and kick them to, kick them to the curb for good. Now, I will show you and discuss in depth why it is not willpower that will enable you to kick your cravings. Willpower really has nothing to do with it because there is a mechanism in your brain which is hardwired. And no matter how much willpower, if you're fueling that mechanism in your brain, then no extent of willpower will be able to stop your cravings. It's when you stop fueling the your cravings to the curb for good. So you can get all the information. Just go to gethealthyquickstart.com. Just enter your name and email right there and you'll immediately receive two pre-training videos right there available for you right now. And there's a small PDF that you can download. It's just four pages that you can follow along in the videos and fill in the blanks as you're learning these steps. And then you will also see the link for the free webinar coming up. And so I encourage you to join me there at GetHealthyQuickStart.com and then for the free webinar. Well, I will show you exactly what mechanism is in the brain that is being fueled by the foods that you're eating and consuming that you think may be healthy for you, but are really sabotaging your healthy living goals. So go to GetHealthyQuickStart.com, enter your name and email address, and then you'll receive notification for the free webinar that's coming up and how to kick your cravings to the curb for good. So join me there. And as always, you can find more healthy living tips on my website. Just go to drstacycooper.com and many healthy living resources are available for you there. So I wish you a wonderful holiday weekend.
And I look forward to hearing from you. You can connect with me straight from the website. Just go to the contact page. And you can email Dr. Stacy at drstacycooper.com where you can send me any questions, comments, things that you would like to hear about or have clarification on in regards to how to fuel your body better for better body function naturally. And remember, we don't just talk about food because you can fuel your body well 100% of the time. But if other areas of your life are stressed, then your body still won't function optimally. And that's why I encourage you to practice self-care as well. And I just had my massage and now I'm going home to relax with my kids for the rest of the afternoon. So I encourage you to do some self-care for yourself too. Here's to your better body function and enhanced vitality. And I look forward to sharing more with you on my free webinar. Just go to gethealthyquickstart.com and you can get started right now with some of the pre-training videos that are available there. So have a great day and here's to your enhanced vitality. Bye for now.